Yeah, we get that question all year. You ready for the playoffs? What else are you? Do you feel good about how the team is quicker now? We had no, we feel yeah. totally bad about the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, we feel good. We are ready to go. It's playoff time. It's real season. How much, because uh, obviously it's going to be talked about Atlanta has a 3-1 advantage over him in the regular season. How much does that play into what's going to happen? So it doesn't. It's the regular season. You know, last year, I think we uh, did a pretty good job against Boston all year. And they they beat us, you know, so the regular season's over with, you know, we'll see what happens in the playoffs. Are you looking forward to uh, putting a check mark on some of those posterizing things? Uh, you know what, we, we just want to dominate, you know, uh, starting on uh, Saturday. You know, uh, it's time for us to, to step up and uh, play better basketball. You know, we don't want to put any pressure on ourselves, but you know, we just want to play. What does Atlanta bring to the table that they had last year, you think? Have they improved as a team, do you think, as a bunch? Uh, you know, defensively, you know, they're a little bit smarter than they were. Um, I would say uh, we got yeah, a lot of weapons, you know. Uh, we got a lot of guys who got better. Uh, obviously, the chemistry is there because they've been together for a long time. So, um, it's going to be a good series, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Well, a couple months ago, you kept uh, you kept learning something from the Packers. You got hot at the right time. Do you feel like you guys, the way you're playing, you're hot at the right time? I mean, you know, uh, that could be the case, but we want to continue to grow, continue to get better, and uh, this is the time for us to step up and play as a team. Dwight, how much pride do you take in uh, the second straight season of selling out every game? I mean, it's a great honor, you know, uh, we appreciate all the fans who continue to uh, support us throughout all the ups and downs and the trades and the guys being injured, the people being sick, you know, uh, we appreciate all the fans who support us. Um, and now it's time for everybody to take it up to another level, uh, the players, coaches, and also the fans, you know, uh, we're going to need that support uh, going into the playoffs. Uh, we can always go back to the year we went to the finals. Uh, it was so loud and it was so... It was just a different atmosphere than it was in the regular season, and um, that kind of inspired me to to give everything I you know I had in me, you know, so we can you know, win the championship. So you know, it's going to be it's going to be on us to go out there and play hard every night. But you know, uh, our fans are the people that drive us, you know, and inspire us, especially myself. Um, to get us going to the next level. If you had to explain to someone who doesn't know much about basketball how, how a playoff game feels different than a regular season game, how would you, how would you explain uh, it to them? Well, you know, the regular season game, uh, you know, say guys go through the motions, but, you know, you tend to have room to, to make mistakes, you know, in the regular season. But in the playoffs, uh, one mistake, uh, turnover at a, a key moment in the game can cost you a game. Uh, or a series, you know, so it's a, it's a totally different ball game than it is in the regular season. Um, you lose, you go home. How are you going to prepare for the next couple of days? You've been through this several years now. How are you going to get ready yourself mentally between now and Saturday night? Uh, just what rest. Else? Get some rest in. Watch a lot of film. Um, understand how you know, the Hawks are going to play me and uh, go from there. How are they going to play you? Have you watched any of the games this year? Yeah, yeah. Some of the reasons. Um, well, you know, they try to just frustrate me. Play this up. Uh, that's, that's their whole game plan, is to get me frustrated and uh, try to get me off my game. So you're ready for Jason Collins grabbing you after the play and flopping? And, well, can you ever get ready for, for something like that? I mean, there's a part of me that's like, that shouldn't be allowed in basketball, but understand this team's uh, game plan and um, just laugh at it. If I get an offensive foul, somebody flops, just laugh and go to the next play. Is there anybody that's going to sort of be your wingman on this team that's going to come to your aid when they see you getting in trouble? Is there anybody uh, sort I mean, of designated? I don't, think, I don't think I'll be getting in any trouble. You know, I'm going to keep my head. You know, I'm, I'm very important to my team on the floor instead of on the bench or sitting at home. So, I just gotta keep my head. The Atlanta coach. Uh, okay. You talked a lot in the last couple of weeks about belief. Uh, can you talk about the belief that you have in 
Uh, I mean, I told the guys tonight, you know, um, everybody in the locker room has to believe. Um, one guy, if one guy doesn't believe, you know, then we're not going to win. But if everybody's on the same page, no matter what happens, if we go down 0-2, uh, whatever, whatever it may be, whatever the situation is, if you don't believe, then we're going to lose. And um, that's the biggest thing that I told the guys today uh, after the game. You know, it's a go time. And if you don't believe, then you should be here. No. Boy, the last two last two home games of Chicago coach and the coach have talked about how well coached you guys are, how you guys have account for everything they do. This is your fourth year with Stan. How has you assess Stan's performance in being coaching this year? Has been yeah, Stan is going to make sure that you're prepared, you know, mentally and uh, physically. You know, he, he does a good job every day in practice. And if you, you can't get plays right on the offensive end or the defensive end, it's on you. Uh, he's one of the few coaches that is going to make sure that you're prepared, you know, for every play, for everything that the big man does, for everything that the guard does, and then it's on you from there, you know, so uh, he's, he's great at that, you know, he's always been good at that, you know, he's he's human, he's made mistakes, you know, but one thing he's good at is making sure we're all prepared.